Hello everyone and welcome to the second video in this course. In this course we continue our work on our first logo design and as I said before in this video we will paint our design. So now we select the shape, we change its color to black like this or into any color, it doesn't matter. In case there was any trouble, just make sure to select the shape like this, then select the shape builder tool, then reverse the color like this and paint the shapes parts like this manually in case of anything went wrong now we have these colors right here we select this color like this we use the eyedropper tool we select it then we select this color like this this is how we change the logo colors part by part again we select the shape part we select the eyedropper tool and we select the color and we keep going like this. We select the shape, we select the eyedropper tool, and we select the color. And always make sure to select the part of the shape you want to select, you want to paint, then select the eyedropper, then select the color that you want to paint that part with. I'm gonna need to adjust this color, so I select this tool, and I will adjust this color like this, just a little bit. Now we select the second part. And we select this color like this. Then the last part. And we make it like this. Now we select the whole shape like this. Then we remove the stroke like this. As you see, the shape is stroke free. Now we select the lower part like this. Then we click Ctrl C then Ctrl V to duplicate it like this. We drag it and we put it right here. We will need it later. Now we go and select this part right here. And we will adjust its color a little bit. So I use the eyedropper tool and I select this color like this. Sorry, I click here. Then I use this tool to adjust the color like this. I can tilt the color like this, as you see to change the angle of the gradient of the color. Perfect. Now I select the middle part. I select the eyedropper tool and I select this color. Then I go for the other part. The selection tool. Okay, instead of using the selection tool every time, just make sure to click on Ctrl plus V to duplicate the color. Now I select the gradient tool and we adjust the color like this perfect now we go back to the shape we duplicated earlier we select it and we drag it and we put it right here then we lower it like this a little bit to get this design look like this now we zoom in to add some small stuff we select the pen tool we put the dot right here, then a second one like here, then we make a curvy line like this. We adjust the gradient angle like this. Perfect. Now we make it a stroke or a line. We make it two points like this. Then we put it right here. We use the ellipse tool, we draw a circle in here, make sure it's symmetrical by holding the shift button. Then we make it a fill and we remove the stroke like this. We swap the stroke with the fill to make it like this. Perfect. Now 
I select the whole shape, I duplicate it like this by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V from the keyboard and I put it right here. Perfect. Now I select the shape like this, then I use the eyedropper tool and I copy this color, then I make it a stroke like this. Same thing for the circle. I use the eyedropper tool to copy the color like this. And this is our logo so far. Now I drag the shape right here. And now we're gonna start typing our text in the logo. The text that I'm gonna type is only an example. You can put whatever you want. If you're designing a logo to a person or a company or anything, of course you're gonna type the text they want you to type. Now we adjust the size of the text like this, 48 points. And for example, we type butter, butterfly like this. This is just an example, as I said. We change the font of the text. This is back to black. This is the name of the font I'm using. And I adjust the size of the text like this. I adjust the size while holding the shift button. And here we are, our logo is ready and it looks perfect. You can adjust the colors if you want, you don't have to stick with the same colors I'm using. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video to work on another logo design.